Ambassador. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to respond. Yesterday, Governor DeSantis was critical of the United Nations, referred to it as a worthless organization, said it sanctions Israel too much. And I just, given your history there, I would like to give you an opportunity to respond to that. What do you think of those criticisms? It is a worthless organization. They do um, get on Israel too much. It has been a farce. It's the reason why I fought as hard as I was. But if you look at the time that I served there, what did I do? I took the kick me sign off of our backs and America was respected again. Every day I dealt with the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians, the North Koreans, the Syrians, the Palestinians, the Israelis. I have dealt with all of them. I've had to negotiate with all of them. I know when they're telling the truth and I know when they're lying. We got respect at the United Nations because I told Americans what America I told these countries what America was for and what these what America was against. I didn't care if they didn't like me, but I wanted them to respect America. That's what we'll do as as president. So she asked if I had been in touch with Israeli officials since the attack. I sent my message to Netanyahu, which was finish them. Um, and then I have been in touch with my former friend and colleague, Ambassador Danny Dillon. Ambassador, what do you make of Vivek Ramsamy saying that Trump's comments about Hezbollah and Netanyahu make sense, that you can be very smart and evil? And what do you think your fellow um, con uh, candidates should be saying right now in response to Trump's comments, should everyone um, call him out for what he said? I mean, Ramaswamy sounds like the squad. And there's no place for the squad or Ramaswamy in their comments, whether it's related to Israel or Hezbollah or any of that. You don't congratulate or give any credit to murderers, period. You don't. What you do is you call them out, and you don't do just words, you do action. That's what Israel's trying to do. We need to have Israel's back. You don't just have Israel's back when they get hit. We need to have Israel's back when they hit back, too. And so that's what I'm going to do. That's the focus that we need to have. An American president needs to always have moral clarity. You have to know the difference between right and wrong. You have to know the difference between good and evil. This is a stark contrast between good and evil. We need to be able to see that for what it is and act accordingly. Ambassador, what's your